The simplest, easiest form of seitan. No excuse. You don't have to be a cook. You don't have to be a chef. You can literally make it taste however you want. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make one of my favorite vegan proteins, seitan. A really high protein vegan protein that is sourced from vital wheat gluten. That's what makes it so dense in protein. If you pair it with nutritional yeast, it makes it a complete protein source. Great if you want to build muscle and lose body fat. Making it at home allows you to control the carbohydrate and fat content. If you want to add more fat, you always can by adding oils, tahini for example, if you want to up the carbohydrates you can always add flour and even make like seitan buns like bread. I've made it before and it is so good. There's so many things that you can do with it. That's the cool thing about it. You can literally make it taste however you want. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my simplest easiest form of seitan. All you need for this recipe is a bag of vital wheat gluten. I order mine off Amazon. I will put the link in the description. This Anthony's non-GMO organic vital wheat gluten is probably the best one that you can get. Nutritional yeast. This is what's going to make our seitan a complete protein. Again, I ordered this big bucket off Amazon just because I use so much of it. So this is really convenient for me and I'll link that as well. I do recommend using veggie broth for the best taste, but you can also use water if you don't have a veggie broth. And lastly, some sort of spices or seasonings because seitan is going to be very, very bland if you don't add any salt or any seasoning to it. I'm just using these little pre-made seasoning packs here. There's literally no excuse. You don't have to be a cook. You don't have to be a chef. You don't have to know anything about cooking or anything to just dump some spices into this. For all of my lazy people or my people who just aren't that great at cooking, maybe it's just short on time. This is a great option for you. I'm gonna use my digital scale. 20 grams of nutritional yeast. And now we're going to add our vital wheat gluten. 120 grams. Now we'll need to add our spices. I'm feeling this meatloaf seasoning. Mix all of the dry ingredients beforehand because once you add liquid, it becomes really dense and sticky. If you add the liquid first, the spices and the seasonings may not be consistent. And now I'm just going to add my veggie broth and a general rule to do equal parts liquid and equal parts vital wheat gluten. If you use a spoon, it's not going to turn out right. So just go ahead and get comfortable with using your hands. So this is what the dough should look like. It should kind of look like bread before you bake it. You should be able to tell that it's pretty dense and that's how you know you have the right ratio. We have our seitan dough that is ready to go. I have my oven preheated to 420 degrees. So I would recommend getting some sort of loaf pan, something like this. I've also done the little muffins before. You can do that. It's totally up to you. The thing about seitan is it's really hard to screw it up. If you want to change something Thing, don't be scared to because it's almost always going to turn out good. A little bit of parchment paper down and I'm even just going to before we put the seitan in because I have made it before where I've had to like scrape it off the sides. This just turns out so much better. Dump it right in, press it into the sides of the pan just kind of outward until it's evenly spread and you don't want to have one piece that's like 25 grams of protein and one's like 22 grams of protein. Voila, it is ready to go in the oven. I bake my seitan about 20 to 25 minutes. Everybody's oven is gonna be different, so play around with it. If it comes out too moist, you may need to bake it for longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna check on it. Satan is out of the oven. I'm just gonna pop it out of the sheet, just like that. You can see it's kind of like a meaty texture. I typically split this into four servings and each serving will have about 130 calories, 25 grams of protein, six grams of carbs, and zero fat. Excellent protein source. And you can put this on pasta, chili, tacos. I mean, you name it, change up the flavors. So make it how you want it. There you have it, some delicious seitan. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. 
if you try it. Make sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or you need any help, make sure that you shoot me a message. I will see you guys next time.